This is one of many dump sites for electronic waste in Lagos, Nigeria. It smells of burning plastic. The waste provides an income for many people, but the work is dangerous due to toxic smoke and leaching heavy metals. Workers take the e-waste apart by hand and resell the raw materials. The dump sites are illegal. This footage was shot secretly because the waste pickers don't want to be exposed. They use one equipment to repair the other. They look what is good in one, and the rest, they don't know what to do with it. So they are the one dumping them on ground. They are the one burning them, releasing dioxins and furans into the atmosphere. And the activities has contaminated a lot of soil with levels of heavy metals, sometimes almost 500 times the rush directive. Some electronic equipment comes from developed countries as donations. It's supposedly usable, but often it's just trash. Second-hand uh, electronic products is the major ICT products being used in developing countries because less than 20% of the population can afford to buy new and modern electronic products. But this has been abused in that exporters of second-hand products from developed countries actually export more of end-of-life equipment, e-waste. Ifeani Ochonogo has come up with a different solution for handling e-waste. He founded a recycling company called eTerra, which complies with government safety regulations. Here we have the dismantling area, okay? So each electronic part that is considered electronic waste or e-waste is dismantled, okay, defragmented to their original particular resource, to their individual parts. As you can see on the table here and uh, further down here, we have boards, we have iron, we have speakers, we have everything in its individual parts. Ochonogo invested in this machine, the only one of its kind in Nigeria. It allows the company to dismantle e-waste in a way that won't harm people or the environment. An exhaust hood contains the toxic fumes. We all know about the e-waste crisis and the global e-waste crisis, especially in India, China, you know, uh, uh, Nigeria. I felt that this is something that, that, that hit my heart and it's got to be dealt with right now because there's no way you can run away from the problem. Because it's the same air you breathe, it's the same food you eat as everybody else. We are really in a very deep, very big, uh, very serious crisis. The global IT market relies on rapid innovation. New devices become obsolete very quickly and end up as e-waste. Everything from televisions to computers, cell phones, chargers and more. E-Terra is Nigeria's first e-waste recycling company. After dismantling, the e-waste is separated and shredded by raw material. Much of it can then be sold. That's the company's main source of income. But that's not Ochonogo's only motivation. I'm not the kind of person that will see something wrong with anyone or anything and not try to do something, no matter how small, about it. I like being a pioneer. I like doing what other people are not doing. And I like affecting society positively and setting the right example for Nigerians. Around the world, up to 50 million tons of electronic waste are expected to be discarded in 2017. Some of it will end up on these waste dumps on the outskirts of Lagos. But Ifeanyi Ochonogo has taken the first step in turning this burden into a sustainable resource.